Personalities such as Tun Dr. Mahade Muhammad, Anas Zubidi and Syed Akbar Ali attested to the fact that the Quran verses have become a part of their daily lives. At a special sharing session to launch the Let's Read the Quran campaign on Saturday, these figures shared the stories of how they benefit from the Quran. The campaign will not be confined to only Muslims, as non-Muslims are also welcome to join and learn the beauty of the Divine Scripture in other languages besides Arabic. A lot of people read the Quran. In my view, uh, especially speaking for, as a Muslim, uh, it is perhaps uh, the most read book in the world, but the least understood or not understood at all. Uh, for the very simple reason that from the time we are small, uh, we recite the Quran in Arabic. Uh, whether you are an Arab or you are a non-Arab, uh, Malay, Indian, uh, whatever Muslim you are, you recite the Quran in Arabic, but nobody takes the trouble to read the meaning of the verses. So uh, our intention is to change that a little bit so that people will read and understand what is in this book. As for Anas Zubidi, the Qur'an is not just a holy book but it has many interesting and valuable lessons which one can learn and apply for their own good. He said the campaign would be carried out on social media starting from March and it would last for a month. Former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, who launched the campaign, said the problem happened when Muslims stressed more on reading and memorizing the Qur'an instead of understanding. And reading the Qur'an in a language that one is proficient will further help this understanding. If you read something that you don't understand, you cannot well be guided. If I am lost and I ask a person, what is the way to this place? And he answers me in the Eskimo language. That's so much guidance to me. But if I ask and he explains to me, he says it in the Eskimo language, and then he translates it into Malay, English, then I get some guidance. During the launch, six young people recited Quranic verses in six languages, namely English, Malay, Mandarin, Tamil, Arabic, and Kadazan. Also joining the campaign will be Kuala Lumpur Archbishop Julian Liao, Chief High Priest Datuk K. Sri Damaratana, Star Media Group Berhad Group Managing Editor and CEO. Datuk Sri Wong Chun Wai, Tun Dr. Siti Hasmah Ali, and TV presenter Daphne Aiking. 